question that I made with a friend named uh, Victor Lebo, which normally uh, to be here, but he has a pro train problem, so he couldn't come. Uh, so P is basically uh, two emails uh, for taking notes together, okay? And but it's not Google Doc. P is not Google Doc. It's a three bit to you. So uh, why we want to design a tool to take notes together? It's because we think that when everybody is in the same place. For example, we are taking notes on our computer or on our, our papers or what you want. And, um, but if we take notes in the same, on the same platform, maybe we can have a, a document. We can mutualize our efforts together and we have a great documents to resume, to summarize the the conferences or the meetings or what you want. Um, so we we thought about that because we we were in a, we are we were students and uh, we have meetings and we have conferences and everything and uh, we we would like to take notes together to improve our our notes our conferences or our course to share uh, knowledge. But we couldn't make that. We tried to use a pad, like a or a typing pad or anything. But uh, it was not really relevant and it was not made for that. It's more for, uh, it's more for writing text together, but not for taking notes together. Okay, so we know that there is some stuff like Etherpad or Google Docs that already exist not the same thing as what we want. So first, what we did, we make, um, we make a website. We make a website like this one. This, this website, which is, um, sorry, it's in French, but uh, it's a website where we uh, put all the different software and tools we find on about writing together, writing collaboratively. So there are a lot of pads, different pads, there are lots of different uh, projects made with pad or stuff like that. And we also put uh, old, old stuff like marginalia, which are the comments uh, in the merge of books, and that also mind mapping. So that was the first step of our project. And then, after doing that, we try to um, think about a tool that we can make. And uh, we think about something where you can take personal notes because it's difficult to have the notes of everybody on the same pad. Because when you are writing, it's difficult to see the other one writing on the same page. And in the same time, we want to have also a visualization of the other contributors' notes. And then, at the end, we want to mutualize, uh, mutualize all of these notes and produce an online document. Okay, so with everyone knowledge. Um, so, basically, how it works, open works. Sorry, it's in French again. Uh, I didn't have time to translate it. So I'm going to translate it here. Uh, so first, in the first column, this, this is the first step. You are, into a, you are in a conference or in a meeting, and you want to take notes about it. So you create a ping, a pad, or you connect to uh, an existing ping if someone created before you want to take notes. So everybody is connecting to the same pad, and then you write. Okay, so here you you write your your notes normally, and here you have all the different other people connecting to the, to the pad. You have all the different notes they are taking in real time, so you can uh, visualize uh, their notes, and you can copy past their notes into your pad, and you have a notation system future 
to, um, to know that this is a copy, this is not your own note. And then when the conference is finished, uh, no, uh, yeah, when the conference is finished, you, you can also, yeah, I forgot something, you can also add images in the colon, and we name it the river because it's a common colon, it's a, like a common colon. You can add images here, and it's the, it's a, the, the only place in our tool where it's the common place, so you have all the images here connected to the, the text, connecting to the time. And um, then you can edit and organize your notes when it's finished. So you can uh, rewrite stuff, you can improve it, you can copy past uh, stuff from the other people, you can remove some images or reorganize them. And then you can publish it when you are happy, when you think, okay, it's, it's a great job, I can publish, I can publish my work. You can publish it, and then people can consult, can read your uh, your document, and comment it, or add stuff, or fork it, for example. So we we want to to we we base our uh, reflection on our concept, really on uh, free software and free software movement values. Okay, so we really want to talk about uh, sharing, comments, uh, forking, so to make something really into the free software movement, if it's clear. So, uh, in fact, we couldn't make it, uh, this is, uh, we, we could not make a functional tool, but we have a demo that we can, you can see what happened in it, and um, in fact, this demo is really useful because we can test it for improvements, but it's not finished in finish at all. So I can, I hope it's going to work, but I can make a demo if you want. So it's, it's not functional, but it's just okay for a demo. <laughs> So first, I'm going to create a ping. So creating ping. Ah, yeah, I didn't say that we made the prototype on Node.js to a real-time features. Uh, okay, sorry. I think it's not going to work. I don't know why. Um, it's not. It's a demo effect. So. <laughs> if you can let me two minutes, maybe I can check what happened here. It doesn't matter. Um, sorry, no, it works, but I can show you. But basically, it's really uh, in the demo. You can only not, not only, but you can uh, you can see the other people uh, writing stuff in real time. So here you are writing, and here you see other people writing. But it was it's a fake demo because I have to write alone. But okay, it doesn't matter. So um, then, when you finish your your part. Sorry for the bad resolution. Uh, you can have a document that you can download and you can have a, have a PDF um, like this one. So you can imagine that everyone can make templates to export his, his, his stuff, it's just CSS, for example. And um, so um, which application, so I think you understand that you can use it 
in brainstorming, in meetings, or during the courses at school, or during conferences, festivals. In fact, it's, um, it's in every moment where you are in the same time in the same room, in the same room, like, like for example. Um, but, yeah. So, um, in our prototype, we have um, some features like writing, connecting to the same part, writing, uh, writing on your own part, seeing all the different, um, all the other visualization of people writing, uh, which you can add images, comment images, and yeah, stuff like that. But in fact, we thought of a lot of different features. And yeah, something I forgot is that when you are writing, you are writing in Markdown, okay, in your pad, so directly, and it, it transforms automatically into an HTML file. So you have a formatted text. At, at, um, you have a formatted text, so everyone has the same format. So it's great to make templates. That's why I was talking about templates. And um, so what we want to add to this um, prototype, future features. Um, we thought about adding uh, some short shortcuts because when you are taking notes, uh, every people has different way to take notes. Okay, so for example, some people are just make write a reduce word, so we name it shortcuts. So for example, uh, I don't know if for everybody I'm writing EVB. Uh, I can just add this shortcut into my personal um, account, and when I am writing just EVB, it's going to write everybody automatically. Okay, so it's really linked to the note taking practice. Um, yeah, we have something we want to add to. It's like uh, every so this is a visualizer of other people at where which are taking notes, and. Um, when um, when someone is more active than another one, he's going to be in the third place. In that in that way, you can see which is the more active people uh, in the in the room. Uh, in the room, and uh, if someone is stopping taking notes, you can see it too, and it's going to be downgraded. In that way, you have al uh, always the person who is taking notes at the top of, of the visualizations. So then I've talked about that earlier, but you can yeah, copy and paste um, the different part of people who are taking notes. So I think it's not the same song. Um, I think you understand that. Okay, and you have the authorship. And you have the star system. Like you can add favorites. If if you add one of the note taken as favorites, it's going to be on the top of the visualizers. And you can also sharing and commenting the images, which are on the river. Okay, it's great to have the GIF because as I couldn't show you the interface, you can see it there. And also, everything is linked to time, so the images are, li li are linking to the timeline, so that means, for example, if here we are at one hour of the conference, the images are linking to the, the time of the text. And also, when you want to, when, when you are writing or when you want to edit your page, you can have your cursor is linked to other visualizers on the scroll too, so you can because when it's linked to time, so you can see if you miss something during the during the conference, you can you can see uh, in other visualizers things you missed. I, I don't know if you understand well, but sorry for not showing you the demo. So thanks. Um, there is a GitHub repository which are all the code in Node.js for the prototype. 
and soon we are going to make a website. Uh, I think for programmers the code is really ugly and really creepy. So sorry, Venus, <laughs> because I'm really not a programmer and I program it uh, alone, in fact. So yeah, that's why. Thanks.